Okay. We're going to take a look at this uh, circuit board stand. We looked at the uh, the other one with the magnifying glass and uh, the holder and it's really not suited very well for maybe maybe prototyping with a perfectly square circuit board uh, without the magnifying glass on it, uh, it, it that really doesn't work but this one in my opinion is much better and I've got another one it's an old one that I've had for years and years and years and it's it's as big as this desk uh, you can hold motherboards from uh, in the old style motherboards from older computers in that one and I may take a look at it if I can find it um, but anyway this one came from uh, Timu uh, and of course there will be an affiliate link down in the description um, this one I mean it's not in the entire frame I wind up cutting some of it out but uh, let's see what is the get the length in uh, inches it's over 13 I think yeah 16 inches long and six and a half inches wide basically is the uh, is the footprint and um, now your hold on your depth is about three and a quarter inches to the top of the uprights uh, now this is all metal the frame uh, it's got rubber pads for feet which is nice um, let's see this to be honest with you I think that's just a hard yeah hard plastic and the uprights are plastic now uh, these are I guess kind of just manufactured these are like two lefts or two rights they're both manufactured the same way so you'll notice that you have the controls on opposite sides I did reverse this so both the uh, the uh, uh, compression pins would be on the same side but it it was kind of catchy didn't want to turn good so I turned it back around again and I've kind of tightened everything up down on this end so hopefully that would stay all solid and I just move this end in and out for a different width uh, circuit, uh, circuit boards but normally you'd have it close together you'd be dealing with smaller circuit boards uh, these plastic uprights are uh, screwed to these cross pieces which this entire assembly here moves back and forth on both sides uh, so I kind of got it set up for this circuit board here so let's get this put in here and it's kind of an adventure with each circuit board you're going to put in uh, you're going to have to just see how you're going to have to mount it where at by what components and whatnots on it and I felt like this one was a pretty good circuit board to demonstrate because of how the odd shape and all the bits and pieces hanging off of it uh, and I mean you might can identify this circuit board uh, but if I bring this into the shot I think you got it figured out exactly what this circuit board is uh, kind of a, a neat deal this right here uh, you've got and it doesn't matter the polarity I don't uh, if I remember right but the top and the bottom just took a positive and a negative and I ran 3.3 uh, volts through it and it auto darkened uh, I ran 5 volts auto darken went up to 8 vo volts and it would darken just fine and then would lighten back up again after it set there after the voltage was cut and then I went to 12 volts and now it's kind of permanently tinted but just so you know your uh, 
your rear view mirrors that auto darken are three and a 3.3 volts is what they run on so uh, you can spin spin the board into whatever position you want uh, this is actually going to become my test uh, my test board which I'm going to do some soldering with some uh, soldering uh, guns I've got coming uh, I've got a workstation as well as uh, a hot air uh, gun that's on it a TS 101 an HSO 2 and a generic 65 watt uh, soldering gun that I'm going to try all of those on here as well as some uh, soldering tweezers and uh, kind of see how all that works and I've also got a desoldering an uh, electric uh, desoldering gun that I'm going to try that out uh, and this is this is just going to be my test uh, my test board so things are going to start disappearing off of this as I uh, get all that together uh, I hope the tweezers work out because I've always wanted to do surface mount uh, soldering and I've actually uh, could have repaired uh, circuit boards before with surface mount or SMD chips but I had no good way of uh, soldering and desoldering those other than fighting with them with a uh, soldering gun uh, and I'm not very confident in doing that and at that time I really didn't have uh, uh, a hot air gun so I'm hoping the tweezers will work and work well and so as I have issues and troubleshoot boards I'm going to start keeping boards like this because normally there's not much of anything on this board other than your uh, photo cells on here, the buttons, um, and this pretty cool display right here. Uh, and that's pretty much about all you can use off of this board. Uh, your JSB connectors, uh, you could probably desolder those or three hole, yeah. Uh, and maybe the. Uh, diodes the zanier diodes and a few things like that but then the rest of it was useless to me for years and years but i think that's going to change hopefully in the near future uh, so i'm going to start keeping boards like this so i'd take what I, I could use off of it and throw the rest of it away but i'm going to start keeping them from now on. so anyway uh you're able to adjust this uh this board right here is about three and a half inches wide um, so you can see I've got about an inch and a half so to the height of this you could probably get uh, I think this is three and a quarter so that's going to be about two and three quarter there so five or six inch uh, wide board by this is I think this was uh, 16 inches so 15 14 13 probably about 13 13 by 6 inches is about the biggest board you can you can work in here six inches I think is a little wide so probably more like five and a half uh, let me try and get you a better measurement on that actually two and a half to the center of this pin so four five so five inches so uh, 13 by five inches is uh, about the biggest board that you're going to be able to fit in here and work with now how well does it lock up so there's uh, actual uh, nuts that are mounted inside the plastic here that these are tightening up into so they're not actually tightening into plastic um, let's see kind of get a not not a lot but a decent little torque there and a decent little torque there and that's pretty solid I mean I can turn it of course but as far as you can see the board flexing so you know I'm touching it a lot yeah, she, that's pretty good flex there. So you know I'm, I'm putting a good bit of pressure on it. So it, it locks up perfect uh, for any kind of soldering you're going to do. You're not going to move it around with a soldering gun. Um, so I really, I really think this is going to be very helpful. 
uh, I don't know how many times that I've, I've tried to lay boards down, solder, or I've burnt my fingers so many times holding resistors from the bottom so I can solder them on the, or holding resistors in on the top so I can solder them in on the bottom. Um, pretty much every time I'd grab a uh, soldering gun and start working on a uh, circuit board, I'd, I'd end up with war wounds. So I think this is going to be a pretty good addition to uh, troubleshooting and uh, working on motherboards as well as just general prototyping and assembling boards. Uh, this would be great for a lot of boards that I've put together. I've got a, uh, a uh, it's a kit that I bought on eBay that uh, has uh, it's like a frequency generator slash uh, Elvis prototyping board uh, type deal, but older, uh, and I think it was made by TI. But uh, anyway, uh, putting it together and assembling those uh, circuit boards, this would be would have been very very helpful. So uh, I think this is going to be a pretty good deal. You're going to see it more. Uh, especially when I start doing the soldering tests as well as the desoldering tests and the tweezers and the hot air and uh, all that. We'll see how well it stands up. Uh, also take and see how well this stands up to the heat uh, as well. Uh, and if, if this does give out, uh, I mean it's pretty hard plastic but if it did end up giving out then I probably rebuild this these uprights in aluminum bar stock or something like that but uh, you see what you got here yeah I definitely recommend it I think it uh, I think it's gonna be a good deal uh, time will tell and you'll get to see through the videos I appreciate you watching thanks and God bless